What is up YouTube, XCX Solutions here and today I am bringing you another tutorial and this is on how to install a custom skin for your Steam client. Now if you do own Steam and you play a lot of PC games on Steam you'll know that you're left with the default skin like so but if you go into Steam and then settings, interface you'll see select the skin that you wish to use. Now by default we are currently on this skin as you can see on screen. Now you can't actually see any in the drop down list and that's because you need to download a skin from the internet that's someone has created and then put it in your Steam skins directory. So I'm going to leave a link in the description below and what you're going to do is head over to that link and you'll see some skins on screen. Now there are many on other forums and websites but this is the main theme skin place I could find and there is two really nice skins on here. One is Metro for Steam and the other is Air for Steam. Now you may have seen this on maybe some people's videos or you may already have this but for the people that don't know how to install them and how to use them then I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So we're going to go ahead and install Air for Steam first so I'm going to click on it and give you an idea on what this looks like. So as you can see we've got the blue kind of metro feel if you like and uh, it's pretty nice it's a lot different you've got the lighter look more than you know the Steam's quite you know black and dark this is quite you know different considering it's turquoise and white. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and click download and I'm just going to save it to the desktop and we're going to be prompted with a WinRAR file like so. I'm just going to extract this and now you have a folder with a, another folder inside and a lot of directories. Now first thing you're going to want to do here is going to plus extras and you're going to need to install the fonts because otherwise it will just look horrible and you'll have a skin but the fonts won't match the actual skin. So go ahead and highlight all of these and right click and click install and what that will do is if you check the box that says do this for all current items and then click yes I already have them pre-installed that's most likely why that's asking you that but that will go ahead and install the five skins without you going to the directory and placing them inside. Once you've done that you can pretty much just delete this folder as you don't need it anymore because you just needed to install the fonts for that. Next we're going to want to right click our Steam client right click steam properties and then open file location that's just a shortcut to get into the steam directory but if your steam is somewhere else then locate your steam directory and you'll see a folder inside steam called skins now of course it's empty because we don't have any installed but that's why we're going to create a folder and we're just going to call it air skin you can call it whatever you want but i'm just going to call it that for this tutorial go ahead and open that folder and simply drag all of these files inside of the folder so you should have around 13 items in the folder for air skin we're going to go ahead and exit this go into our steam client again go to steam settings and then once again interface and now you should see air skin as a option in the skin list so we're going to go ahead and click this and hit ok and it will ask you to restart so make sure you do that so it most likely will do this it's just going to update the uh, the files inside of the skin directory that's perfectly normal it may take a while but just be patient okay so there you go you know that it's worked when you have a different logo screen and there we have it guys we have all the games on the left we have a different notification symbol up here with all your comments and stuff everything looks completely different again some people might not like this there are other themes out there you just have to research on the internet this is okay I mean it's quite bright it's not my personal favorite but if you do want a completely different skin this is one way on how to do it I will quickly show you the other metro skin theme as I use that one over this air skin so we're gonna go ahead and just minimize this go over to the link in the description once again and we're gonna choose metro Metro for Steam this time. Now I personally think this looks really really nice. It's a little bit different to the original Steam look but again it just has kind of the black scheme and a Metro going on. So we're going to go ahead and click download once again. Hit OK. Extract the files. Be prompted with a folder like so. Go inside the directory. Go into the font. There's only one font for this theme. Right click on it and click install. I already have it so I'm going to click yes. Go inside Metro for Steam and you'll see the exact same thing. But in this folder there is 12 items so just make sure that there's 12 items in yours too. Go ahead and go into our Steam directory open file location and we're going to go ahead and go into the skins folder and I'm just going to keep it called Metro for Steam so you just drag that folder inside of skins we can exit this now go in steam settings interface and you'll see metro for steam there as well so we're going to go ahead and click that and hit ok and once again it will ask us to restart the steam client so there you have it guys another steam skin successfully installed this one looks very nice in my opinion i like the, the whole metro look and it just looks really really clean i don't know why it just i prefer this over the original steam skins now there might be some out there that i haven't come across so if there is then feel free to comment below 
below. Um, you can just research some Steam skins, I'm sure there is some out there. I've only found a couple of them that I like so far, so yeah, this one is probably my favourite. So I hope I've helped you in a way, hopefully you will use these Steam skins, maybe not, maybe you will, I don't know. Comment, rate, subscribe and all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.